Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing a quick haul from Plant Therapy Essential Oils. Plant Therapy was one of the brands that I started using first after Young Living when I started branching out, and I love them. They're very affordable. They're really good about um, sharing safety and usage for kids. They have kids' pre-made rollers, which we love. Um, they have tons of different products too. So I'm trying a few different things, and I'm just gonna quickly share what I got. So the first, few things I'll share are essential oils. Bourbon geranium is steam distilled from the Pelargonium gravelanus, and I'll put that here, um, plant. It is similar to rose. It has like a rosy floral, but it's very like, um, sharp. It would be really good mixed with some other florals. It, it, it is pretty powerful, so... Um, using like just a couple of drops of this with lavender or maybe a citrus. I think the main use for this is like mood uplifting, fragrance, perfumery, that type of thing. Um, but it's just very like balancing um, and also can be soothing on skin too if you're into making your own skincare products. Next is a little kit or a little set of laundry blends. And this is called Sparkling Laundry Blends. There's grapefruit, lavender, and peppermint. Oh, here is the front of that box. Most of these things were on sale. I do love that they have sales quite often. Um, this one, so it says how to use, um, just add a few drops to unscented liquid laundry detergent. I also use laundry sheets, like soap sheets that you can add to that as well. Um, you can also add a few drops to your wool dryer balls. So here's the cute little set. And then each one is a blend. So, um, this one I'll just read. It's grapefruit, lavender, and spearmint. Oh, and lime. So really strong and bright and uplifting blends obviously blends that you would want your clothes to smell like this one's peppermint um eucalyptus rosemary clary sage and linalol this one is very like pepperminty but also gets those other notes too and lavender as well lavender is just such a popular essential oil for scent for laundry and this one is lemon lavender patchouli lavender and vanilla this one might be my favorite either this one or the grapefruit uh, but they all smell really good i'm gonna add them to dryer balls i think um that's my favorite way to use essential oils in the laundry next i got a couple of carriers almond oil is really good for dry skin i like to use it mostly on body like for body products i don't use almond oil on my face and then jojoba is like a universal can be used on pretty much any skin type it's a great if you're making a serum it's good for that and then aloe vera jelly this we have already used as much as you try not to get sunburned it's bound to happen at one time or another and so i just add lavender to this and I rubbed it all over Chris's shoulders. He got burnt this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. And overnight, it was good to go. Lavender is really good for that. It's really good for all kinds of burns too. Um, so if you like burn yourself cooking or something, grab the lavender or just, we like to keep one in the kitchen. Okay, next, they have skincare products. So I got a vitamin C serum. This is actually hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And just, I haven't used it yet, but these are my two favorite essential or essential oil. Skincare ingredients. Vitamin C helps brighten and kind of renew, helps your cell turn over, go quicker. And then hyaluronic acid, it like grabs moisture from the air and just kind of seals it on. You want to make sure you're putting moisturizer on right after this to seal that as well. This has um, jojoba oil and orange essential oil in it as well. So I'm excited about these ingredients. Is this last? No. Second to last, I got two of their hair therapy sprays. This, this one's a leave-in smooth and grow spray. They're basically um, the same except they have different essential oils. They're both, they have argan and essential oils. So this one is the Shine and Smooth. It's a detangler spray. So actually, I got them for the girls and for Frankie um, because she, her hair gets like matted and tangled as well. So I'm going to use these on both of them. Um, they're pretty liquidy too. So it's not like a heavy, going to weigh your hair down and make it feel weird. I'll probably use it on myself too, to be honest. And then lastly, I did a whole video on this, but I got three hydrosols, and so I'll tag that video somewhere here so you can watch that too, because you guys, hydrosols are so underrated. They're so gentle. So if you find yourself sensitive to a lot of essential oils, grab the hydrosol. We have a helper joining us. Um, created the same way that essential oils are, except the essential oils are extracted, and then what is left is like the floral water, and that is the 
um, hydrosol and so it has a lot of the same therapeutic properties but it's very gentle so we do hydrosol baths for Zara she has eczema on her legs so we did a Roman chamomile and um, helichrysum hydrosol bath and it really helped there are tons of different uses for hydrosols too and they can be used in a lot of the same ways as essential oils they don't have to be diluted like essential oils do so they're kind of easier to use and um, we really have been loving them this one is the rose one though and it smells so, so good um, okay so that is everything we got recently from plant therapy let me know if you like them too and what your favorite products are so I can try them too the link to shop will be down below thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you have a great day bye